My name is Louise Taylor. I'm the Visitor Centre Manager here at Tomatin and I manage the team here and devise the strategy for operating the Visitor Centre. So tell us a little bit about recent developments at the Visitor Centre. Over the past few years, since about 2011, there's been a lot of investment in the Visitor Centre here at Tomatin. So we expanded the Visitor Centre itself. Due to increased popularity in our tours and the Visitor Centre here, um, the numbers were up actually 40% last year. So we decided to go seven days all year round. Um, within that, we've increased our opening times in the summer. At Tomatin Visitor Centre, we get all sorts of people, people that know nothing about whisky. Some people don't even like whisky, don't drink any alcohol. We don't just pitch our tours at the Whisky Connoisseur. Um, so full explanation with the guide going round, um, good opportunity to ask questions. Not everybody knows anything about whisky. <laughs> we're very accessible just off the A9. We're just 15 miles south of Inverness and 16 miles north of Abbeymore. So we're a good spot for people that are travelling north or south um, on their journey. So tell me a wee bit about what happens when visitors come to the centre. So when a visitor arrives at Tomato Visitor Centre, they get a very warm welcome. Um, we find out what they're here to do. Some people just pop in for a wee look in the shop. Um, others don't have time to wait for a tour, so they maybe just watch our film, have a wee taste. Um, but then we can also offer them three different tours. Uh, so we increase the range of tours that we offer. And um, we've got the Legacy Tour. Uh, that's our standard one that we offer. It takes about an hour to do. Um, they get to go around the distillery with a guide. Um, and then we've got some more in-depth tours like the Taste of Tomatin and Single Cask Experience. Both of them take about an hour and a half to do for the visitor centre. So, um, so the Single Cask Experience is our most in-depth tour, maybe for your whisky connoisseurs. Um, in that tour they get to taste five single cask whiskies. So it gives them a good chance to explore the different flavours that you get from different types of cask. We let visitors see most of our distillery, nothing is off limits, so um, we've got an old mash tun that we've kept on site, last used in 1982, but visitors can actually step inside it. We've also got our filling store, they can see the casks being filled up, sometimes even lucky enough to hammer in a bang in the cask, and then we've got the cooperage as well. So tell us about plans for the future for the visitor centre here. Well, it's an exciting time at Tomatin. We've currently rebranded our whisky, so we're bringing the visitor centre in line with that. Currently producing a new film um, for our visitors to watch. Uh, and what's that film about? What, what, that, what will people find out from watching the film? I think the best thing about the film is the views that you'll get. So the new film is a lot of, a lot of drone work went into it, so you get to see parts of the site that you don't get to visit necessarily on the tour. Okay, so it's a whole different perspective. Completely different perspective.